The day of your surgery, you will meet with your anesthesiologist in the holding area to discuss the different types of anesthesia available to you. If you'd be more comfortable discussing this ahead of time, we'd be happy to set this up for you. In order to ensure your surgery goes as smoothly as possible, we need to review a few do's and don'ts. First, it's very important that you arrive at the short procedure unit at your assigned time. Take the morning doses of your cardiac and blood pressure medications with a small sip of water. For insulin and diabetic medications, follow your doctor's instructions. If you use an inhaler, bring your rescue inhaler with you. If you have any other medical conditions, such as sleep apnea, please tell the pre-admissions nurse and bring your CPAP machine with you to the hospital. To make your stay more comfortable, please remember to bring a bathrobe, any toiletries you desire, and sweatpants or loose-fitting clothes for the day of your discharge. In order to ensure your health and safety, the following is a list of what not to bring to the hospital. Try not to bring electrical items of any kind. Do not bring large amounts of cash, home medications, except your inhaler. Do not wear any jewelry and remove any piercings. Remove all nail polish and artificial nails. The day of your surgery, you should have a friend or family member waiting for you. In order to keep them comfortable and informed, please advise them to wait in the surgical area where they may speak with the surgical team. They will also be able to track your progress using our Navicare system located in the family waiting area on the second floor. Your friends and family can expect to wait around five to seven hours. So please, tell them to bring a good book.